Hello everyone, what is cooking all you good looking people out there and welcome to another exciting episode of Universe Sandbox. Today we are going to be playing around with our custom uh, solar system that we created in yesterday's episode, all featuring around the giant supermassive star Super Luna. We got Lava Storm over here, a extremely, extremely hot uh, planet. We got Firestorm, slightly less hot. We also have a second sun that is currently orbiting it uh, with a few planets. Uh, Terra, who has lost a moon, uh, but does have one somewhere. If I go look, yeah, we can see Terra does have mist, but it seems to have lost its other star, uh, its other moon, Dew, which is now pretty much just careening through the world. We've got Orbis over here, a Jupiter-style planet uh, that is also orbiting. Uh, we got Snowstorm right there, which I don't know if it's been disassociated with the system completely, but for whatever reason, uh, it is just, it, it doesn't seem to exist. There's Ice Storm out here, which it is there. Uh, Nibiru, which is, you know, just cruising around the system, getting ready to hurtle into us, and a black hole which is right there, as well as uh, two stars, which are orbiting this black hole. All right, so let's uh, let's turn the simulation on a little... No, I don't want... I always click on that uh, by accident, which I shouldn't. I don't need to do that. All right, so let's go and make things a little bit faster. Oh, God, for, uh, that, made, that makes things a little bit sketchy. Okay, so let's zoom in and see what happens. Uh, alright, so what have we got here? Well, I'll click on this one so this becomes our frame of reference. And what do we see? Well, th you know, things are orbiting quite nicely, you know, do, although it has gotten disassociated with its own planet, is there. Planet X, though, is catching up on Earth, which is probably cause for some alarm. Let's see if some kind of big disaster happens. Do they ever catch up to each other? Well, now it's no longer really a planet X. It doesn't really revolve around the sun. It just seems to be revolving... Uh, well, they seem to be getting closer and closer. So I'm actually quite intent on seeing uh, how this pans out uh, in the future here. Look at this. Things are not going very well. Well, since Do has um, since Do has decided to become its own unit, I'm gonna pause this. All right, Do, you've decided to become uh, your own planet. I think it's time for you to become more and more massive. So we're gonna make Do quite a bit more massive, uh, something like that, a double the size. All right. So now Do. Oh, okay. it's hard to tell where exactly it's getting pulled. But it does seem to be catching up quite close to Terra. And now it's overlapped it. Okay. Well, that is fine. What if I what if we raise the velocity a little bit of, of it? Woo! Something like this make its orbit a little bit more crazy. And let's make it a lot more massive. Let's make it something along Okay. Oh, there you go. Now we're raising its orbit. Let's raise it a little bit more. Yeah, something something like this. That seems to make it a little bit more interesting because, ooh, now it's got a lot of collision potential. Also, it's really messed with Orbis. I like this a lot more. This is a lot more chaotic over here. Also, it seems like Planet X and the Earth have uh, just decided to split apart, which is quite nice. All right. Well, we can see things are going quite well. Snowstorm and Ice Storm seem to be taking a collision course with uh, themselves. And Nibiru is, well, Nibiru is quite nice, quite, uh, quite immune to all this nonsense. But uh, now Firefly 1 and 2 actually take some kind of crazy uh, helix-style orbit, which is pretty crazy. All right. So what if a disaster were to start happening and the mass of our black hole here were to start rising? Well, we could shrink orbits quite a bit like this. So I think we should. And let's play this out a little bit faster. All right, there you go. Wow. Okay, so now things have started. Now, yeah, now now the system has started wreaking havoc on, on itself. You can see, oh, things are starting to become a little bit weird. So let's pause the system and let's go check out what's going on down in here. Still seems that Lava Storm and Fire Storm are doing quite well. well let's go check out our planet here. So, 
Uh, there's Sol X. There's the Earth. I... Oh, Earth and Planet X are right beside each other. Terra and Dew are doing just fine, and the Wastes is also doing quite fine. How is the Waste doing? The Waste seems like it's okay. Dew seems like it's a moon, and Terra seems like it is a barren planet. And what about Orbis? Orbis is, well, Orbis is doing just fine. All right, Nibiru, of course, untouched, and this system, weird stuff is going on. Okay, so, I mean, that's a little bit much, but let's go and let's slow things down uh, to something like this, and let's play it out. Now, that's just a few days per second. All right, there you go. So now we've got this, and let's make it a bit, whoa. Okay, so the simulation kind of gets crazy sometimes, but I like it, it recatches up. Whenever it goes wild, it's like it, it's like if it's like skipping a beat, it just kind of goes back. Actually, oh my goodness, look at look what happened here. It seems like Orbis disassociated itself from this system and now is orbiting Super Luna. Oh, that's crazy. What has happened over here? Are are these still they are all right so these are still going around the system wow very hectic all right so let's slow this situation a bit down and let's go and decide to make the the death day yeah so death storm over here is going to start being a little bit more disrupt uh, disruptive so death storm right there is going to start becoming more and more massive more and more massive the black hole the bigger, more problematic it is. So we have got to start setting it up to perhaps the a mass of like 30. All right, so let's set it up to 30 and see how that affects things. Now, it doesn't seem like it'll affect things too much, but let's go like this and start increasing time. All right, things are going a bit wild. But the system, it, things seem to be doing okay. It is orbiting this, right? It doesn't really seem like they're heading towards each other. Actually, one of the things that I want to do is I want to click on this. And now this might send things into a bit of a crazy spiral. So we're going to go down to something like this and go motion off. So there you go. Now there is no position lock. So now things are going to start changing. All right. Uh huh. Well, are things moving? One of the, it's one of the things I don't know. There it does have a motion, but we started it off at zero velocity. So total velocity. Things are happening, but it doesn't really have that much of a velocity. Actions, let's see if, let's see if we auto-orbit it. Oh, that doesn't really help. Auto-orbit, all right, well, oh boy, things, we may have, we may have, oh God, the Earth is gone. Goodbye, Earth. Oh no, what has happened here? I don't even know, Sol X is now, oh boy, yes, Sol X is now orbiting that. It seems like many of our planets have disappeared. All right, I guess uh, there is uh, no time like uh, finding out what happens in the future. Oh boy, all right, we wanna go check out, we're checking out this one. Oh my God, well, it's it's heading out, but it, the black hole hasn't sucked it in, which is something to say, at the very least. Nothing has gone off too far, but I think a few planets have been destroyed, such as whatever the hell these two dots are. But, my god, now the orbits are crazy here. And it seems like the Earth, well, the Earth is... The Earth is a reasonable temperature. Look at that. The Earth has become habitable. It used to be a barren waste. Uh, but now, now the Earth is enjoying a little while. It's not going to have very long. It's going to become a frozen ice ball for in, in just a bit. And the wastes, well, the wastes is... Waste is going goodbye. Wow. What? What? Uh, what a thing. So, all right. We can stop this.
uh, we can go uh, home and we can open, no, new. Okay, now this makes a new system. We don't really want to do that. We, we've done that uh, and we played around with it too. Create. Oh, collisions. That's a new, that's a new thing. Uh, let's choreo. What, what is this? Delta. Oh, okay. Well, let's see. What is, what is this? Oh, it's like a little choreography. It's nice. Wow. Look at this. I wonder how this works. Is this just like this? What this is what will happen based on their gravity? Oh, well, that's cool. All right. Well, we've got this nice little dance going on. So what if what if we just slightly change just a little touch more? Wow, a single touch more has literally first of all it ignited oh god um excuse me oh it's this could it's it done all right well home uh let's go and add something beautiful like mother and child all right so let's watch this as it goes along for a little bit um i don't think that's how that was supposed to go i think the speed of the simulation really ruined it so home let's do let's do mother and child again okay so we'll watch we'll watch this as it goes. I think the speed of the simulation was my I don't think that's how that's supposed to go. I mean maybe. But really? Just a mother absorbs the child? Is that the is that the, the, the real I thought it was supposed to be some kind of dance. Right, well let's uh I mean this is sort of ended up different. Let's go starfish. That'll be nicer. Okay, yeah, this is very beautiful. So, again, with this thing, you can just add a single digit, and things change quite drastically, I'm imagining. Yeah, look at this. It's, oh boy. Well, does it change? Oh, yeah. All right, things are changing a little. Oh, big impact, big impact. Oh, man, yeah, these two things. Oh, they merged. Okay. And then everything is just spreading out till forever so that does happen all right let's go home let's go create maelstrom wow how long does this thing last let's speed it up okay yeah so when you speed up the simulation home all right let's go add maelstrom and let's make it more accurate oh wow check out this stuff Boom. Wow. I should probably not have it that accurate because that seems to really... Man, there are some cool impacts in this game. And we're going to be definitely playing with those uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow we're going to start playing with the impacts in the game, the collisions and stuff like that. Uh, but for now, I kind of want to check out a little bit more of these things. Um, yeah, fallopian tubes. There you go. Oh, wow. That already started off messed up. All right, uh, home, fallopian tubes. Wow, all right, it's not, uh, it's, it's, it's still, it's still rendering weird at times, which is, which is fine. All right, let's go home, let's make, um, galaxies, uh, we could, oh yeah, we could do a galaxy collision, that's always fun. Choreo system, grits, grids, oh, big stars. Oh Lord. Um, this can't end well. Let's find out what happens if we these can these not move? Motion Auto orbit. I kinda don't want to play this because I feel like this could ruin my computer. No, I'm not going to play this. I don't know what, nothing Nothing happens. Collisions? Well, we're going to check out a preview, I guess. Wow. That is cool. That's a collision between Earth and uh, Ceres. Wow. Let's see that again. Boom. Wow. Look at that. Surface temperature has gone really high. And then what if we uh, what if we make the time go up? Oh, 
All right, well, look at that. We got a lot of holes in the world, but it does seem like it maybe recovers. Oh, oh, wow. Interesting. Big giant ice age. Oh, God, come on. Less than that. Oh, my goodness. Come on. Please. Oh, boy. There you go. All right. Well, we can go a little bit further. 70 days per second. All right. So let's see that again because that was really cool. Home, earthen series. Okay. So there it is. So we go something like 22 days per second. Then we can look and we can see 79 days per second. So the earth starts getting fl okay I yeah, the, the oh yeah that's right all the ice caps melt then that makes the earth more reflective and it gets colder and starts freezing over boom all frozen and then is there is there a cycle here no it just seems to be getting out of hand so after this does anything happen i have no idea can I change the reflectiveness of it? Materials. Uh, surface temperature. Simulate radius. Motion. Actions. Um, is there... Oh, does the temperature change back? Or does it just keep climbing? I think it just keeps climbing, honestly. Or descending. Whatever. Climate. Greenhouse effect. Atmosphere mass. Is there a reflectiveness thing? Um, simulate effects of advanced. Oh, boy. There is a lot of things you can do here. Wow. This is really cool. Unfortunately, I can't go. Uh, let's make it 100 Celsius. Boom. And does it just go back if I make it 100 Celsius? There's no way for me to freeze the temperature. Oh, yeah, there is. I can kind of freeze it just by going like this. It's minus 30. Well, the Earth is going to eventually freeze over. It's really ruined, though. Oh, well. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed this episode. And as always, tune in tomorrow as we check out more of these awesome collisions. Aw, oh, yeah. Cue the royalty-free music. Three, two, one, go. Come on, everybody, get on your feet. Stand up, look at the screen, and repeat. I'm gonna like, rate, comment, and subscribe. I love watching Aether vids all of the time. Thanks for dropping by and spending the time. Hope you've enjoyed, and let's get on with our lives. Oh, yeah. Thanks to Kevin McLeod for these awesome beats. Oh, yeah. Have a good one.